Capricorn. We are right up and out. My goodness. The daughter of wands. All right. Upright. A slew of cards here. And this is, by the way, the 8th to the 14th reading, a uh, week-long reading. And for those of you who, uh, who, who didn't watch the beginning part of the first week of January reading, the first to the seventh, uh, I... Uh, quickly detailed that I'm going to be doing the readings a little differently this month. So instead of doing them in chunks of two, I'm going to be doing them in quarters. Okay, so four quarters, one reading per week, and I'm going to be assessing the, the weekly energies there. Okay, um, so this is pertaining to the 8th to the 14th, the second week of January. I'm filming this on the 5th, uh, and here we go. You're out with the Daughter of Wands upright. You have then this very thick stack overlaid by the the world. I'm hearing the Wheel of Fortune as well at the same time here for you in reverse. Overlaying the Nine of Swords upright, Temperance upright, Temperance mirroring the world, Sagittarius' card. Now, Sagittarius came through for you uh, prominently in your January 1st to 7th reading. Uh, so, Sagittarius, a Sagittarius individual may be a focus here. You then have the Ten of Cups upright, mirroring here the Nine of Swords upright, with the Father of Cups upright, mirroring the Nine of Swords upright, the, the Mother of Wands, I'm hearing again the Wheel of Fortune, something the Wheel of Fortune is casted over this whole stack, the Mother of Wands here upright, and there's um, a focus on the circularity here, I'm hearing of a certain vision, of a certain venture, perhaps even, the feeling that there is an encasing of sorts that um, that that uh, readies this, this experience to um, begin in a certain way again, okay, where this experience is moving through change of its own. And it's, again, this focus on the circularity, okay, you have the Mother of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the world, the focus also being perhaps on a birth of sorts for a number of you, there may be a birth here in order in a certain way. You have the Daughter of Pentacles in reverse, overlaying the Lovers in reverse, the Son of Pentacles, upright, the Son of Swords, upright, Beneath the Son of Pentacles, Sun and Sun, the eighth, the eighth, the eighth of Pentacles. Take it as you will. The Ace of Pentacles, aha! But beneath the Eight of Cups, there is here a focus on a new beginning. That I'm hearing is a rationalized pursuit that has to do with what we create in a material, financial way in the world. But you have here rebounding. I'm hearing rebounding is the emotional. Uh, I'm hearing the emotional assets. Okay, the emotionalism, the emotional vision, and you realize that in a way you are swimming to find where you land. Okay, very interesting. You're moving through emotions to understand and, and make sense of what you want to construct as a new beginning, financially perhaps, in a, in a third dimensional way, in a physical way. I'm hearing ha habits, and I'm also hearing um, habit patterns. I'm hearing as well um, uh, the uh, sort of habitat. Okay, so there could be a focus on the environment uh, that, that this new beginning takes place within. Uh, the Sun of Swords, the Sun of Pentacles, two suns here. This could be your very own energy. Absolutely. You are surrounded by, by the emotionalism, okay? The focus on perhaps even the alleviation emotionally from what is otherwise so strategic, so based in practicality. You're, you're in a certain way trying to juggle these two worlds. Now, the direction that you take on in a practical way I'm seeing as being uh, based on the vision that you hold for culmination. And so what in a certain way takes place in this, I mean, in the interim, in this period of time is a projection of how you project, I'm hearing specifically your values, okay, your values yet again. Um, now, there may be an individual here, again, Sagittarius, there may be a Sagittarius individual, there may be an individual with a lot of fire in their chart, someone who is creatively driven, I'm hearing entrepreneurial, okay, somebody who perhaps is in a cycle of their own, okay, and creating um, and constructing a certain um, way of working through their work, okay, so there are layers, it seems here, Capricorn, um, but at the end of the day, there is a focus on the emotional, the feeling of emotional readiness, emotional clarity. How does we want to, I mean, carry ourselves through emotionally into this new beginning? Now let's 
pull a card for each one of the days here. See what comes through for you, Capricorn. I'm hearing Sagittarius for you over and over and over and over again. So there may be a focus here on Sagittarius archetype. Okay. Ooh. Tumbling out the tower in reverse. Okay, now, <clears throat> Sagittarius, the Capricorn, 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 you are, I'm also hearing Leo for you, and Libra specifically, you are preparing to take a certain action. That is, that is, I'm hearing an act of, I'm hearing of, of righteousness, okay, of passion also I'm hearing. One that defies, uh, I'm hearing the laws of gravity, of also um, the, uh, the activities in our day-to-day -day life. There's this dreamy, even ethereal nature to what you are envisioning. And it requires of you to maintain, I'm hearing, the foothold of this passion, of this vision, that uh, is stimulating your imagination. And what you, I'm seeing here that what, what is the focus, you have absolute crossover between matters that are uh, financial, that are strategic, that are practical, and matters that are emotional. And this perhaps is a revisiting of a concept from the past, uh, perhaps in 2017, that you may have been working with. How do I balance my work life with my home life, my emotional life, my love life, my, my, um, my desire to uh, reach heights, okay, that qualify and quantify for me where I'm going in the third dimension in my career and my profession, but also that make me feel I'm hearing receptive to it emotionally. And you may be feeling, well, it's not just a matter of creating, and it's not just a matter of feeling, it is in a certain way the transformation of how it is that I move through both of those paradigms as I move through change, being your focus. And I'm, I'm getting that this is happening um, in, in a way that is ideological. Okay, ideological, where you're working with a concept in, a, in a, almost in a philosophical way. And this very concept is, um, I'm hearing how it is that you define how you create, what it is you want to create, perhaps what industry you want to work in from here on out. Now, again, I'm getting very strongly so that there is a strong focus, Capricorn, on what brings me emotional satisfaction emotional sense of success, okay? Being a focus here, and you're um, perhaps even taking a back step with just charging forward, just creating, just creating, just producing, I'm hearing in a constructive way to, I'm hearing, listen and to tune in to, I'm hearing the heart valve, what it is that you are perhaps even telling yourself emotionally, so to speak, what it is that you feel you're ready for now, okay? And you have the Ace of Cups here, upright, beautiful, emotional new beginnings that mirror your Father of Pentacles in reverse. This new beginning that is emotional, you have two Aces here, the Ace of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Cups upright, that speaks to passion, absolutely. And you got the Six of Pentacles in reverse after the Father of Pentacles, the Five of Cups in reverse after the Six of Pentacles. It's so beautiful, Capricorn. It's so very, very beautiful. And you have the Sun as well. Okay, but this is um, this is in the next week. Okay, we'll get to that. But uh, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups mirroring the, Ace of the Father of Pentacles. You're you're transforming the way that you entertain matters of emotional satisfaction. Okay, I'm also hearing dissonance. I'm also hearing distance. You are changing the relationship that you have with the role that emotions play, specifically amidst your um, your financial world in a certain way that you're involved in, your day-to-day, -day, your practical affairs. You get again, you are you're you're placing importance, great importance, on emotional satisfaction. And if there is an opportunity to capacitate this turnaround for you, you are taking it. I'm getting that very strongly so, very strongly so. There's the there's like I'm ready. I want this. I this is yes. <laughs> this is yes, okay. Um, Six of Pentacles in reverse. You're releasing any sort of, um, uh, I'm hearing hangering thoughts, okay, lingering thoughts. I'm hearing behavior, behavioral patterns that put, I'm hearing, uh, uh, I'm hearing specifically money, finances, uh, practical, practical affairs yet again, first. And you're letting yourself dream, okay? There's this like, okay, you know what, I, I can 
I'm hearing I can eat the ice cream. Okay, I can eat the ice cream a little bit. That's what I'm hearing for you, Capricorn. I'm hearing Libra and Leo again. The five of cups in reverse is what you step out with into the next week. Beautiful. You are releasing the relationship that has been perhaps difficult, testing between your emotional life and also your social life, your friends, your friend circles, and how that uh, sort of rebounds off of or into your your work life, okay? And whatever has been unsatisfactory with this paradigm here that you've been working with comes, I mean, to a resolution. Specifically, as you align with it, Capricorn, I almost said Libra again, and there may be a focus on values. Now, the sun here is what you step out into as you trail off into the next week, but in reverse, there is a focus here. I'm getting that it is tied to the Ace of Wands in reverse. There's something here about uh, clarifying exactly the creative direction. How it is I want to profess this? How it is that I want to move into this? What is the first action that I want to take? I'm hearing the strike of passion. Now, I'm hearing the the gold, okay, the strike for gold. How is it that I want to um, even uh, 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 recognize what I find as a source of passion as I pursue it? Very interesting. Let's move into the next week here, uh, the 15th to 21st in, and the 22nd to the 31st. Um, be doing that reading now following this one as the extended January reading. To purchase that, you can do so via the link below in the description box to provide, and um, that's where you can purchase the Capricorn reading, okay, for the last part of the month. Thank you all so very much for your support, love and light to you, and let's get right started with it.